Hey, Vineyard Church, I'm Jeremy Buskey. I'm the uh, Groups and Discipleship Pastor here. I hope that you guys are having an incredible experience in your groups and on the weekend messages throughout this series. We are in week six. Uh, this is the story of Lazarus and the miracle of Lazarus. And uh, I just wanna take a quick minute just to kind of recap a, a few key points that really stood out to me during the message and then um, a personal experience of mine um, that just kept resonating in my mind as I uh, listened and kind of explored through this throughout the week. So um, the main thing I kept thinking about was relationship. And in John 11, when we hear about the story of Lazarus, uh, we just see that Jesus was a friend of Lazarus and, uh, and had a loving relationship with, with Lazarus's whole family. And we even get to the, the shortest scripture in, in the Bible, which is Jesus wept. And I think it's incredible to see the humanity that Jesus had living um, with his people and seeing um, what his posture was of sin's impact and the devastation in so much and in people's lives around him. And I think a, a great way to understand that is to look back at John 10, where it really um, scripture really shows us what, what Jesus' relationship is with his, his children. And uh, it kind of illustrates a good shepherd and his sheep. And a couple main things is, uh, you know, Jesus shows and tells that um, how much relationship matters. And he, he dies for his sheep. He knows his sheep. He uh, has such an intimate relationship between his children, people that put their, their trust and faith in him. And um, he even says that he knows them by name, by their natures, their needs, even uh, understanding well beyond what we think we need, that Jesus knows what we truly need to, uh, to survive and thrive and live in, in the freedom that he wants for us. So it's really of a, a relationship of daily care and, uh, and knowing who he is and having that relationship is so key because uh, it says that his sheep know his voice. And whenever uh, we know his voice, we know to, uh, to learn, to love, to trust, to follow him through our lives. So just kind of looking at this, I, I reflected back on, on my life and that relationship, uh, that just the importance of that deep, intimate relationship and, and being known by Jesus kept coming back. So an experience um, that our family had about two months ago, something we've never been through. Um, my wife and I have been married. Uh, we've been married for about 16 years now. And uh, uh, her dad, my father-in-law, has been such a monumental person in our family. Um, he's been a, a true rock, someone we could always go to, always get uh, on his feedback. And uh, about two months ago, um, we were actually on a, a small vacation and uh, everything's going well. We got home and we learned that uh, my father-in-law was, was in the hospital. And we didn't think uh, much of it at the time. We're like, you know, that's normal. Um, then all of a sudden, um, a week and a half later, uh, he, he passed away. He, um, it, it was uh, extremely difficult. Uh, we were not able to visit him. We we're not able to even have those last moments with him. And it was just a, a wrenching, faith-testing time for our family. Um, it was uh, emotions that we didn't know were there. We've never experienced such a close loss in our family. And, um, through this message, uh, just the idea of Jesus' knowing us, Jesus' relationship with us, um, just kept coming back to me and the importance of um, putting our faith and trust in Him in some of the, the hardest, darkest moments of our life. And um, I just kind of reflected and uh, our family kind of reflected back. At the time, we really couldn't see it. We're just kind of in awe of what was going on and trying to process it all. But looking back, um, we're just amazed at his care. Um, just makes me think of the Good Shepherd and how much he cares, he loves, he's watching over us, and he knows what we need beyond what we even know we need. And some of the main things during that time um, really were that, uh, you know, the circumstances um, with our, our group that we're involved in, having close uh, biblical community with was, was incredible. It, uh, they, they came around us and it's just a, a, a posture of God's surrounding love. He knows how to, to use so much around us going on to, to come around us, protect us, to show care, to show his love. And our, our group was just absolutely a necessity in our life. They uh, brought food and cared for us. Uh, the nurses at the hospital, looking back, you could just tell that God was working through them through all the thoughts and prayers and um, were so kind to us. And just some of the comforting words from our church family that kept coming in with flowers and just the thoughts. And um, ultimately it was then that we really recognized um, that, that God was speaking through all that. Um, he was speaking through so many different uh, ways and it just really highlighted that God truly cares, He truly loves, and He truly knows His children. And uh, we could not have made it through any of that without our relationship with Jesus and then how He uses so much around us 
to just show that care and, and point to him through his word and his scriptures. As you take some time this week, I just challenge you just to, just to reflect on that. What is what is your response to, to the miracle of Jesus and Lazarus and, and the idea of relationship and, and uh, God's intimate desire to know and uh, be a part of your life? I just challenge that and, and pray that if you don't know him, that you would put your faith and trust in him as you move forward. And as John 17, three says, and, and this is the way to, to life and eternal life is, is to know him. So as we uh, close our six week series out, it's been amazing to be a part of your, uh, your group discussions and your family time. And uh, we hope and pray that you're doing well and we look forward to seeing you at church.